In this video, we're going to talk about dividing unit fractions by whole numbers. And remember from the last video that a unit fraction is a fraction with one as the numerator. In this first example, we're going to be taking one half and dividing it into two. So the first step is to draw the fraction bar, bar for that fraction. So we're going to draw a fraction bar and we're going to cut it up into halves because because our fraction is one half. And we're going to shade to show the one half. So we'll shade one out of the two pieces. Mm -hmm. Then we need to take each half and divide it by the whole number. So I'm going to take this half and divide it into two pieces. And I'm going to take this half and divide it into two pieces. Now I'm going to shade one of the new pieces. Now my quotient will be the fraction that the new piece represents. So I see I have one fourth shaded. Because there was one here and we cut it up to create fourths. So our answer is one fourth. Here are the steps that we did in a previous problem to divide a unit fraction by a whole number. We drew the fraction bar for the actual fraction, which was the one half. Then we shaded the fraction. Then we took our whole fraction and we divided each piece by the whole number. Which was two. And we shaded only one of the new pieces. And then we decided what the new piece represented. So let's do two more examples. The first thing we're going to do is draw a hole and represent it with our fraction. So we'll draw one hole and then we'll cut it up into fourths because that's what our fraction is. Then we're going to shade in the fraction. So we're going to shade in one fourth. Because we want to divide one fourth by three, we are going to now divide that fourth into three pieces. And I'm going to do it all at once so that each of the fourths I'm cutting into three pieces. So I have one cut and two cuts. And you can see how I made each of the fourths into three additional pieces. Now we're going to shade in one of the new pieces that we have. So we're going to get a different color and shade in one of those pieces right there. And then we have to decide what is the value of that one piece. So we know that it's only one piece. and. Because we divided the fourths into three additional pieces, we created twelfths. So one fourth divided by three equals one twelfth. And you can visually see that there's that one piece out of a total of twelve now. Our next example is going to be one third divided by five. So we're going to make our, our fraction bar and we're going to cut it up into thirds. And we'll shade the fraction, one third, and then we'll divide that into five so we'll take each of the thirds, here's one of the thirds, two of the thirds, and three of the thirds. We're going to cut each one of them into five additional pieces. So I'm just going to go across. And we're using the separate color to represent that this is when we're dividing by five. Next we will shade in one of our new pieces. So now we're going to look at that one new piece, which will be our numerator, and see what it is in relationship to the whole now. We have now have 15 pieces. So when we divide one-third by five, we get one-fifteenth. 